Hello, lovely people. I'm back properly this time, got a new computer, and I am ready to make videos. In the meantime, I've been gone a fair, few, fair number of weeks, I have been playing chess and I have been improving. So, when I last played, it was against National Master Nelson, and I was 1553, I think, rating on chess.com, and now I am 1677. So, gone up over 100 points. I actually managed to get to 1697. Had one game where I thought I was going to get across 1700 and I could make this video as a 1700 player, but I, I, I lost that game. So, I'm now at 1677 after losing three times to this person. I, um, I'm, not, I'm not quite at the, at the brink of 1700 yet, but I'm getting close and I've been playing mostly 10 plus zero games. So, I'll play a 10 plus zero game now. Try and it's the first time I think I've played one and tried to speak out loud, so we'll see how that affects me. And just let me know would you prefer watching me play 10 plus no increment or 15 plus 10 seconds increment? Okay, we play black against 1749. I stopped playing the Sicilian because I wasn't doing enough of the actual learning about how the Sicilian works, I just kept on getting bad positions. So I've defended the e5 pawn, and my opponent is attacking the piece which is defending it. I actually, most of the time I think you can just get on with development and they won't take you because there's a reason that I don't know. So if they do take me, I'm, I'm a bit lost as to what to do. I am going to develop my bishop. They do take. I think there's a reason why they don't then follow up with the take, like I say, I'm not sure. I could develop with tempo. I think I'm gonna do that. It's not really a tempo because they wanted to move that pawn anyway. And I just automatically push this pawn. Yeah, I'm definitely playing worse with, with explanations. I'll get back into the swing of it. So they can track down my bishop. Ah, oh, okay. They're not going to do that. They're going to take this knight. They can't come here because this pawn's doing a great job. Now, I've been playing far too slowly in the middle game. I think I'm going to just back off because I don't really want to open up this this file. My queen's opposite of rook there. So let's keep it closed. I do isolate these pawns. I think I'm quite happy with this trade. Their knight no longer defends d7, so d2, sorry. So I can make use of that. And they're no longer attacking this pawn. Just for the time being. If they put one of the rooks on d1, I think I'll just come over with this rook and insist on some rook, one of the rooks on d2. Actually, I probably could just take this pawn. I think I'll take the pawn with the rook because this rook was attacked and I was threatening discovered checks. I've got another pawn I can take, but they have this pawn then. Just defend a more important pawn. I'd rather keep my e5 pawn than take their c2 pawn. And I'm still attacking it, so they have to do something about that. Well, they don't have to, but I think they should have done. Yeah, so if, if this, I think I'll take a... Mm, pair of rooks off and then push the pawn. So I'm doing better than I expected to do. Down on time, usually down on time in these games. But I do think my opponents rush. I do think my opponents in 10 plus zero games gen generally rush. So I'm gonna expect this. And if I'm expecting that, I probably should just defend that pawn. 
get on the open file. Got five minutes forty against eight twenty. Their knight has very little forward movement for forward movement available. Let's get on the open file. This is like let's attack that knight and say I want that square. The king might yeah, the king comes across and centralizes. But I think I can mm, no, I don't want to I don't want to allow this. Let's do the same. I don't want my king to be out of the out of the party. Hmm, now I can come up because the rook can't come I can't attack my bishop anymore. At any point I can kick this knight. So if I come and attack this pawn and they just push, I can then kick the knight. Hmm. I can't go there straight away, obviously. What do they want to do? That rook is no longer in a good on a good square, so it might just come back. In which case, I can then check. So they they're going to struggle to to make a move here. I think they might just make a pawn move. What else are they going to do? The king isn't going anywhere forwards. Or even sideways. The rook has a responsibility. It's not terrible if I go here. If the rook, if the rook does go to to c two and I give a check, it's not like I'm winning a knight. But it does kick the king back, and and I'm still in control of that open file. So one thing I've learned in the ten plus zero games is I often do quite well in the middle game after either not a great opening or a sort of equal opening okay damn there we go they didn't have any moves like i said wow okay so yeah usually don't do so well in the opening or just do okay in the opening because i don't like in this in this example like i was showing you i don't know what the hell i'm doing really but i tend to play reasonably solidly in the middle game and often get a an advantage and then it's often that by the by the by the end of the game like once once we've gone maybe not an end game maybe the queens are still on but like late middle game sort of stage i'm down to two minutes say with a with a clean advantage but i'm i'm rushing and then i make a mistake and lose because my player my my opponents here are like in the 1700s or late 1600s and they typically are good at spotting annoying tactics um, so in this game i tried to play a bit faster and it and it paid off all right i'll have a quick look at it i've had a look at the game it was okay obviously i'm very happy to be beating 1700s mid mid 1700s so i'm not complaining and even when i play poorly and win because i've made loads of mistakes but then i managed to get defensive and sc scrappy scrappily win a win win a win get a win then i'm I'll, i accept those i'm like I'm, I'm i'm quite happy with those i don't i don't uh have such high standards for myself so the reason why this i do i have played this before so if i shouldn't play the, the bishop out so i can leave this this sort of setup and not push a pawn to defend the this pawn which can easily be uh, made to be undefended because if you play this knight and then they do this then you can take away from the center and if they take the knight they take with the knight they take the pawn with the knight you can put your queen on d4 and the knight comes back let's let's put that on the board and then check and white uh, black is slightly better here okay so that's why you can, you can even do it you can even do it like in the position i was in so say if i did develop the bishop there then when the bishop takes if the bishop took there i could um i could take away from the center as well and if this the same the same idea but importantly if in this position because my bishop's out if i if when they take i took away from the center that wouldn't be good because now that knight can take the pawn i can't go here because the pawn's in the way 
I can go here. You might think I'm forking this and this, but white has this weird looking move. Knight to g4. And it doesn't really work. You think, okay, I can just attack the piece and win the pawn behind, but then they go whammy. And you're like, oh God, I'm being attacked everywhere. And I can do this. Take a knight, lose a queen. Take a queen back, lose a bishop. But I don't, I don't think this is good for for black. And um, this pawn's annoying for the time being. And uh, white's quicker to castle. So yeah, anyway, bit of a bit of a sideline. So I I took towards the center, and they did have that move, but they missed it. So they they did have the move uh, knight takes here, but they missed it. So at least I'll know that for the future. This is why analyzing is so important. So I done just silly really thinking aha tempo on the on the rook but the rook has two well, the white has two moves they could go here which is fine because they want to develop their their rook get it into the into the center into the center of the board or, or at least eye up the center of the board or they could do what they did in the game and just push a pawn unleashing their bishop and they're all fine and my bishop looks a bit silly now staring at the pawn at, on the edge of the board it's not terrible but it's not great either. It'd be better on this square, on g2. So there you go. And I I actually played this move without really thinking. I think I was just sort of lamenting my, my earlier mistake and um, and talking to you guys and played this move. It is, it is a good move, but I didn't play it with much thought. I think I was just playing moves, def defending that pawn, letting this bishop out. But this bishop has already got out. What, what am I talking about? So I... Skipped away with the queen, develop, develop. And I don't think that that bishop move is good. The engine doesn't hate it, but I don't like it. I think it doesn't, I don't see the compensation for losing the bishop pair. Um, well, I mean, white's already lost the bishop. So they don't, I don't, I don't see why they are happy to lose another bishop. And there, this isn't, this isn't um, fixed. Like this is a move. Like this, this could open up very quickly. I've got the bishop pair, and the center could open up. It could be a very, it could be a very open board very quickly. If this was all like this and this and like if pawns were on here and here, ah, then yeah, fair enough. But they aren't. So develop the rook castle, and then I thought, okay, I could go take, but I didn't like the opening up of this. Now, if, if white does this, and then I then had a quick look at this, but white can just... The idea is I'm, a I'm double attacking this knight, and I'm also eyeing up this pawn as well with the same pieces. Lovely geometry. Look at that. Right angle triangle, and... But, yeah... That's me just looking at it, if it is indeed a right angle triangle. I think it is. And, but they just have, I think they can just move here. And get, get you know, if, if, if instead they try to keep that knight, then I could take the defending knight. This can't take because then we've got this. Or at least, yeah, it can. But then we've got this. I keep saying it can't do things, but it can. It can totally do it. It's just losing a pawn, a very important pawn. So instead, um, after this takes, you'd probably just recapture. No, no, no. I think you have to take back with the, the rook. If you just do this, you lose, you lose um, a whole piece. So yeah, I think probably let's have a quick look on the engine. Let's just see what happens. Let's see what happens takes okay because you can take with the bishop much better yep okay that makes sense you would take with the queen respond with the queen that's just sad but hey that's why you don't do that actually white can push this pawn and if you take back with the pawn because you think it's a free pawn you lose a piece because that forks the 
queen and the bishop. And if you try and save the bishop, then you, you lose. Oh, terrible. Okay, so that's why I just I went back with the bishop instead. It's not why, but I did. I went back with the bishop. Takes, takes. The queen comes over. Now, I should have seen that this weird little queen move is in service of going to, to g5. It was a blunder to go to g5 with the queen, but I should have at least seen, okay, the queen has gone from d1 to c1. Of course, they're trying to go this, on this diagonal. What else was that queen move for? There was no other reason. They can't come here. They don't want to come here. They could have gone there in one move, so they, they don't, can't come here. They can't come here. They have to be looking at going to g5. It's the only move, of course. I didn't see it. I was like, well, brilliant. I've got an open file. But it was basically open anyway. If they hadn't moved the queen there, then let's say they push a pawn. Then this move hits anyway because the queen doesn't want to be on the same file as a rook because they'll she'll just die. So oh, it was a silly move. It was silly for me to just not notice that that move was was on the board was was going to be on the board. Okay, so come over, blunder because it pulls away this knight into the middle of into the middle of nowhere. This knight is not doing anything here. It's not attacking anything worth attacking the the rook and the king are doing a perfectly good job defending there's no other pieces around to support this strangely placed knight it looks good for a second and then it doesn't look good as soon as you realize that this rook coming in it attacked two pawns and i didn't even notice that it attacked this pawn i think i trusted my opponent is much better than me mid 1700s and i i'm not going to get such an easy game i think this is a relatively easy game okay so the the knight coming back to blunder because it doesn't do anything to, to resolve this. Probably this. Defending that. It's the only way to defend it, really. I'm not saying it's good, but it's at least doing something to, to address my threats. I've called this a mistake because really I should have taken. And then when this king gets out of the way, which I think is the only move. Yep. Then takes. And now if the knight takes my rook in response, like a hard rook for a rook, the bishop takes. And the bishop's on an undefended square. So that would have been great. Okay, I just didn't see that. I was too happy with my rook. It wasn't a terrible move, but it wasn't as good as the bishop move. So I defended the pawn instead of taking the c pawn, as, we, as I mentioned in the game. Takes, takes, responds, like... Takes a pawn, takes a bishop, takes back the the knight, and then one set of rooks off the board, and then I can just push. Not keen on... I, I could here have just gone straight to here, and if this, then this. But I didn't see that. I didn't sort of... I, I didn't quickly appreciate how how this uh, knight, how this rook move had just undefended this whole back rank. And my move was perfectly fine. It was slow and steady rather than um, and now finally <laughs> once the king's off the back rank, now I'm finally making use of this uh, this back rank. And at th this point, my opponent resigns, and I think it's like yeah, minus four point six. So it is it is winning for for White, um, but yeah, a couple of a couple of inaccuracies. Overall, pretty happy with this game, but definitely a few points like the opening and then this move like the point is if this move was good i wouldn't have seen it so it wasn't it was terrible but it was just pure luck all right lovely to be back i'm going to make another rapid game video on wednesday and then another one on thursday that's my typical cadence and hopefully more videos non-rapid game videos now that I've got myself set up with a computer and everything is back to normal. Hope you're very well. Chat to you soon. Goodbye.